What's up, everybody? It is the Best Bot Kiss Move, and I'm about to do like a just a quick rant, man. I was in the mood to do a video. I was like, I'm off. Um, the, I got the house to myself. I'm trying to find something to play. And man, I'm just extremely, I don't know how many times I said this on a podcast um, or in a video on, on Twitter. I've never been bored as I am this year with gaming, like ever, like I, ever. Like I, I am so bored with gaming. This year has probably by far been the worst year of content releases, game releases, quality of game releases. And, and when you think about it, you think about it, I remember looking at like being in 2019 and 2020 thinking like, oh, man, 2022, 2023 going to be crazy. And I didn't think it was possible. You know what I mean? I didn't think it was possible for a year to be this bad. Right. And I know people are like, you know, like I said, we had really one big game, one big game. And that was Elden Ring. And I don't see no reason why Elden Ring shouldn't win Game of the Year. Just it, it just it should be by default. They shouldn't even have enough games to nominate for Game of the Year, in my honest opinion, right? We're in August. Um, I don't see anything changing over the next four or five months with game releases. Um, I'm just I'm highly disappointed in Xbox. Um, I wasn't interested in anything PlayStation released so far this year. Um, so I'm not going to say I'm disappointed. And then uh, it was going to be a so-so year anyway. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't care for, even though I anticipated Horizon Forbidden West, I didn't like it when I finally got it. God of War is, I'm interested, but I'm not, like, super hyped about it. You know what I mean? I think mostly because I thought the first game was overrated. Like, I was hy more hyped for the first one. Then when I got it, I was like, man, this game is overrated. It was good, but it was overrated. Now, this one is just seems like more of the same, just longer. And it, that honestly doesn't interest me. I, I don't want a longer game. Um, and then like games, like I know people will try to overhype games like Sifu and Stray and stuff like that. Those, those are just garbage, honestly, in my opinion. Um, and then just, and I know, I guess Nintendo has been dropping games like all throughout the year, but honestly, I don't, I don't play on Nintendo. So I don't, I, it, I don't, I have no acknowledgement of it. I really don't care. Um, like, but, but like on Xbox, especially it's been bad bad um like i mean and i know there's third-party game releases but even game pass hasn't been all that great this year um even like even knowing like no first party releases are here even a third party the even the game choices it's just like come on dude like damn like you could have at least out hustled like you know sony for some of the like at least the double a or the, the indie games but um i i don't want i want i, I never want xbox to forget how bad this year was because i didn't think it was possible to to be worse than 2017 um i didn't think it was possible even their the xbox series x launch was better with as far as with content like i like people say xbox and launch with no games but i just found myself playing a whole ton of games that year that I actually interested whether it be with whether it be first party or third party was it still it was still even game pass it just had like some intriguing titles there um like right now like just, just even the upcoming like this midnight suns i don't care who they put on the damn cover um uh, x-men this is it's, it's it's a genre i don't play so i'm not interested in it right um dragon ball z i never i never got into dragon ball z games um a plague's tale is literally like the only game that's like i'm like i have strong interest for i know high life is gonna be coming um soon i um i don't know why it's not on the store scoring i have no interest in gotham knights is every time i see it it's just i'm just not impressed um modern warfare 2 is it is what it is we already know what to expect but the rest look at this look at this Cal Cal uh, callisto protocol is a horror game this is literally by far in my honest opinion the worst game uh worst year for uh game releases like I don't have a like they they everything's getting delayed like dark I think Dark Tide's been delayed for like an eighth time. It's just probably coming out sometime in 2023 for Xbox. Um yeah, I don't want Xbox to uh, forget that how bad this year this year was. It's like it, I I it, it, it's unacceptable. Even the games that they could get think about the games that they got coming like first party wise. Grounded is finally releasing great, but the game's been in game preview for for two three years it's one of the only first party games that have actually gone through a game preview 
I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be good and whatnot. But it's just like, if I was a, you know, if I was an avid, you know, a player of that game, it wouldn't make any, it wouldn't be a big deal to me because I had two years to play. Now, I did play Grounded. I just didn't dive into it because I was like, you know, I'm going to wait till it actually comes out and be a full game so I can enjoy it as a full package. You got the game Pentiment. I, I like what Obsidian's been doing, but I'm not checking for Pentiment. I'm going to give it a try, but I nothing about Pentiment strikes me, right? And it's a, it's a smaller game. Like, it's a, it's a smaller uh, game. And, which, and you guys, I just seen me stream play a smaller game the other day. I don't have issues with smaller games. It's just that this is from a, a first-party studio. You know, I don't like... I mean, I fill in for Xbox game publishing to fulfill my... You know smaller game needs and whatnot um so penta and it and also penta is not like a traditional game you know what i mean like I, I i don't know what to expect for the game i'm not a big fan of the art style i'm not a big fan of the medieval times um it's just i'm just there's just nothing about it that's really pulling me it's like i it's got to be one of those wait and see things but right now i have no hype no anticipation for it um saint tro i I'm just not sold. I, I want to try it. I want to play. I hope it's good. But from what I've seen, I'm just not sold on the game yet. I'm not sold on the game. So my my anticipated games list is very like it's it's extremely weak. Because every game that I'm interested that I that would be on my anticipated list would literally be at the bottom half. Like to the point where, like, for example. Everybody has the super height level for God of War, right? Which is which is fine. If God of War is on your um um and most anticipated list, that's absolutely fine, right? And I would understand that. Now that's the biggest, and I'll tell you that's the biggest game uh coming out this year. That and Call of Duty. And um what else is coming out this year? I mean Hogwarts is, doesn't have a release date. I don't believe Hogwarts Legacy is even coming this year. In my opinion, it based off is August, you don't have a release date. We had that one state of play. Um showing uh, the gameplay looks interesting i got nothing against it i just don't believe it's coming this year um but just man on xbox it's just it's just very boring and very dry and i know i mean people you know we can typically go at after backlogs and whatnot um i mean a backlog is a backlog for for a reason like sometimes i'm able to dive into a box a backlog and, and actually do it i've done it actually a couple of times this year um I'm able to, you know, to dive into a backlog and play it and whatnot and, and be okay. But I'm not, I'm just like not impressed when you have a year like 2021 was a great year for both first party games and also uh, Game Pass because there were just all sorts of like material just dropping new, unique, different experiences. Um, the things that have been going in Game Pass have been mediocre. Um, there are some games that came out this year that I've enjoyed, but they've been like, for example, I've enjoyed like Shadow Warrior 3. I thought it was okay. I thoroughly enjoyed Bright Memory Infinite. Um, like I'll play through that on the rest of the platforms if I have to, but um, As Dust Falls was a, a, another like uh, surprise game. But again, like these games are, are turning more into like uh, entrees when they should be appetizers and there's not one appetizer uh, this year it's like i fucking like you know what exactly happened this year it's like it's like you walk in the house right everybody's uh you know you everybody's making dinner and stuff like that you get a, a you get this you get to see dessert and you start eating the dessert before you eat the dinner and that's what happened elder ring was the dessert and and now i have no appetite for dinner well there's no appetite it's just nothing there it's just it's just nothing there um but yeah man I, I, overall man xbox is just like this year it's like i don't know if it's this, this activision deal which it's going to be great when it closes but at the end of the day it's not going to really turn into anything immediately right it's not going to turn into anything immediately um so it's like even like i i get upset that like dude i was like how do you not prepare for a year like this right how do you not prepare like all right you know we got to put all our dollars in, in, in game pass and some third parties and and see what we can get um it's just nothing but even from the console standpoint i think xbox uh dashboard is due for an overhaul uh they need to do something there to capture that they the the capture the sharing uh and capturing the dvr capability is hero it's it's horrible it's but it's being ignored i think it, it needs to be completely overhauled 
Um, they added Discord, which is, which is cool. It's still in beta and whatnot. But I've just I've just never been this bored playing on Xbox, and I've been through droughts. I mean, I played. <laughs> I've been through droughts, and I've had more you know fun, more uh, exciting times on on gaming. And maybe maybe it's just me getting getting older and like my taste in games is like is is starting to limit itself and uh but even then like i'm looking at even the coming soon section right now and i'm not interested in much of anything that i'm seeing you know what i mean i'm not really interested like in the games that i do found interesting they're like double a games the, the games that i would hope would be in game pass right um like still rising it's it's nakon nakon are they're either like okay or miss dude nakon does not put out a lot of uh great they put out a lot of games but they don't their games aren't that great so still rising looks good looks good but it has i might be trash written all over it so and that's a multi-plat like this is these are all multi-plats um it it just sucks man it, it just really sucks because no matter what people and people respond to this video say oh well, you got play on PlayStation and your games are, like, dude. I played all I wanted to play on PlayStation, and the, the games that I wanted to play on PlayStation, I ended up didn't like. Like Stray, I, I mean, I could finish Stray because I know it's short, but I'm not feeling it. I'm not liking it. So that's the thing. It's like I have to now like I have to like it to play. It's like I feel like if I play through Horizon Forbidden West and if I play through Stray, it's not because I enjoy it or I want to. It's because hey, I didn't beat a lot of games that, uh this year so far, and I gotta kind of like get these games done. I know. I know there's an end to these games, so let me just do it. It's like then it becomes a task and a chore, and, and I'm not enjoying it. So those two games came and went, not really enjoying them. Um, and people like, and, and even on like PC, like I've, I can, I don't, I'm not going to go on a shopping spree and buy a bunch of uh, a, a bunch of like games. The, the games that are coming to PC are the same games that come to the console, right? So only a couple games that are coming to PC that I'm interested in, and, and ironically. There are old PlayStation 4 games, the Uncharted uh, game and Spider-Man's. And, uh, and I'm going to play Spider-Man because I enjoyed that game. It was a game of the year runner up for me in 2018. And I get to play that at a much, much higher fidelity than even the PS5. So that's in it. I can play with the Xbox controller. That, so that's in this thing. It's, and, and, and I know I'm only going to play because I, I know what the game offers. I'm going to play it probably on a, uh, uh, a harder difficulty and just play through because i know what i'm doing i know what the game is i'm just going to see it better um but i have my you asked me what's my most anticipated games list man if i had one this year that's just a lie or things change too much that i don't have an anticipated games this year um and i'm still disappointed like when is like for example like games like kenna when is that coming to xbox when is death loop finally coming to xbox it's just like Games that I would actually play again on my um on Xbox, uh, Lord knows when they're coming to Xbox. But other than that, like I have no interest in anything that's dropping. You know what I mean? I have no interest in anything that's dropping. Um, like there's some uh, games coming out in Game Pass. Like all the biggest game, the bigger games that are coming to Game Pass later this year are like, for example, a Plague Tale. We know, I know the budget had to have increased, um, because their the price increase for the game for the sequel. High on Life is probably, at best, like a $30, $40 game, dude. I'm, I'm like, just just being brutally honest with you guys. I don't think that's, a, like, a, a full-fledged, full-price title. But it's the most promising uh, this year uh, for um, that's coming on Xbox. Dark Tide, that was high on my anticipation list. Whatever they're doing with that game, they apparently they can't uh, get the Xbox version done in time. So it'll come out on PC at the end of November. And on Xbox, we don't know. So, yeah, this year has been fairly trash, and it doesn't get better. It only, um, it, do it doesn't get better. And there's not one single game that I can say, man, this is my most anticipated game. I got games that I'm most interested in, but none that I'm most in mostly anticipating. And Xbox is partially, it's pretty much to blame for that, for not having anything this year. And game pass being mediocre for the most part this year um but yeah man I, and a lot of people and i know there's some of you in my comment section and on twitter i'll tweet things when i'm, I'm just like because I, I i've i've been I haven't even been tweeting this crazy 
like I've been having issues with my Xbox. I think it finally sorted itself out, but um been having issues on Xbox and I, I tweet about it and people are like, oh, I'm, I'm seeking attention. What is, I don't need any attention, dude. I do not need any attention. This is not, I'm not trying to get into anyone's good graces. You know what I mean? If this is not me trying to uh, flip flop or, you know, like, you know, run like, oh my God, PlayStation is the best or stuff like that. Nah, because I'm telling you right now, overall gaming sucks, but I don't want people to think that I want to take this Xbox problem and blanket it over the into all my platforms the problem is personally it could have been a a, a a a better year for xbox and um but my gaming on other platforms still wouldn't have changed if the output was the same like you know what i mean i don't think if you ask me uh who had a better year i'm going to tell you uh playstation 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 had a better year because they dropped they released games whether i liked them or not they released games they released games this year i didn't like them unfortunately i didn't like i have did i beat anything yeah i haven't liked anything they released this year but they released games so i can't i, I they, that's the thing at least X, i can't judge whether i like the games xbox because they haven't released anything and that's the problem that is the problem and i think it eats at me every um day when i sit down i was like all right what, can, what should i play you know what i mean i got my choice is backlog or backlog you know what i mean um and yeah, I'm just a little bit uh, frustrated. I've never been this bored gaming, and I've never been this bored on Xbox. But and I think um, their first party team, their platform team, need to do a better job sur surrounding the the ecosystem and in and the player base with providing quality content. Um, because this year was piss poor, piss poor. And if you tell me, and this is going to be a selfish, a selfish, selfish thing. Would I rather have uh, three qual quality AAA games from Xbox first party or Xbox acquiring Activision this year? I would take the three quality games because, like I said, it, that the, the Activision deal seems to be the excuse for everything. It's like, all right, you bought something. What the hell does that have to do with this content you already got? Like, in like alleged rotation like right so just had a rant video man i'm done complaining um i don't even know what i'm gonna call this video because i kind of been all over the place but i guess simply put i got shit to play that's the video man hope you guys like it let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i might try to stream tonight i might try to do something i'm trying to engage or find uh, a picker upper but ain't shit to play. Ain't shit to play.